So you've heard of Seattle, Washington, but what about the northwestern Seattle neighborhood of Ballard? Well, if you love great culture, eclectic food options, and more craft breweries than you could possibly visit in a lifetime, then let me tell you, Ballard should be on your list. Join us as we show you this waterfront gem of Seattle. Before any epic brewery hopping can commence, one must first build a base. And thus our first stop was the family-owned Salt and Sugar Cafe and Bakery. Not only is the food coma-inducing good, but they are just so darn friendly. Pretty excited for this. Mm Cheddar, chive, scone, with ham, egg, and cheese. People that know Caleb West know he loves a scone. That chive scone? That's like cheesy. Mm. That's absolutely wonderful. I could live here. This one is In this restaurant. Well, we stopped here on a whim, and this turns out to be a great hidden gem that I would definitely return to. Great savory sandwiches in between donuts. Well, that was delicious. It was so good. A nice unexpected surprise. Yeah, now how do we know it's such good food? Because baby like, baby kicking like crazy. Every time we eat a really good meal, our kid, our unborn kid our starts kicking. Our little girl. Yeah, our little girl starts kicking like crazy in there. So She's that like, makes- this is the best. Yeah, she's a foodie too. That makes us happy. Well done. <laughs> we did one thing right. Yeah, she really likes alcohol too. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There is a lot to walk around and see in Ballard. This is like one of my favorite parts of Seattle. Uh huh. And the sun is out right now. Can we get a little bit more sun? Hooray! Something interesting about Ballard in Seattle is that its sister city is actually Bergen, Norway, a place we had the privilege of going to a few years ago. And it, I can kind of see the similarities when you get to parts like this, right? Yeah, uh-huh. The weather, too. Yeah. Well, it was sunny when we it went was. to. <laughs> here, we've gotten two sunny days in Seattle, which is probably as much as the locals actually get. Yeah. We've been here for a week, so. Team you're, positive. You're welcome. We brought the sunshine with us. And we did. So I'm dressed so brightly. <laughs> Ballard Beer Company is a tap room dedicated to the beer culture of their city, and it does not disappoint. As they state on their website, we believe that beer is fun, beer has a history, and beer is cool. That is a campaign slogan we can all get behind. That is a dangerous sour. That'll sneak up on you. <laughs> she takes what she can. <laughs> if you get there early and have the whole place to yourself, you may as well just throw your own dance party. So we came to Ballard Brew Company at 12 p.m. Right on, when they open. Right when they open. We're the only ones here now, which is not a bad thing. I mean, it's a great place to work. Rather than a coffee shop, go to a beer hall. But they only serve beer from local breweries, which is really cool. On the wall, you can see all the different local breweries they list, and it's a really cool atmosphere, so. They also serve water. They serve room temperature water, which is. It actually tastes pretty good. That's great. Seattle water is good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Flavored like salmon. Oh. Uh -huh. 
salt in the straw ice cream coming next. Famous ice cream. Michelle, you excited? So excited. This is her beer right now. <laughs> That's Michelle's excitement level. <laughs> Honey lavender. Oh, wow. <laughs> it tastes like a candle would smell, which is not a bad thing. I'm glad she clarified it's not a bad thing. You happy, girl? I've been wanting to try the flavor for so long. We've been wanting to try this ice cream for so long. Mm -hmm. Very famous ice cream. And they actually partner with the Salty, which is our favorite donut place. We've decided this is not a flavor you would get all the time. However, it's very delicious because they're known for creative flavors. Yep. And that is a very creative flavor. I think you hit it. It tastes like a candle. It tastes like a candle smells. Again, which isn't a bad thing. Yeah. But sometimes I love the smell of candles and I'm like, I wonder what that would taste like. Yeah, now Not we know. Not with lavender, yeah. but here we are. Yeah, it's actually quite delicious. I, again, don't need the flavor every time, but very delicious flavor. It's like a, a potpourri almost aura yeah. to it. Ballard got us feeling like. There are so many breweries in Ballard. We couldn't possibly try them all if we were here for a year. It's pretty amazing. Okay, we called an audible. We're still in Ballard, but we went to pick a, a pizza order at Sirius Pie, and we're gonna walk over to Obeck Brewing because there's literally endless options here. Yeah. But I'm pretty excited for this. Good choices on the pizzas, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yukon gold potatoes on a pizza. Mm -hmm. Done. So. And fennel pizza? Fennel Sweet sausage. Fennel sausage. Okay. Yes, well, please. All right. I'm drooling. <laughs> Michelle, what'd you get? I got a drink. I got a drink. It's a raspberry shrub. A raspberry citrus shrub. I'm proud for you. That is very vinegary <laughs> and very good. Is it? You will hate it. Okay. Because yeah, no, I, don't, I can't imagine Caleb's Because I am pregnant and I've been craving all things briny and vinegary, this is yeah. the most perfect drink ever. Well, I am not pregnant, though I did implant that in her. It tastes Let me like, see if my Caleb. taste buds It tastes have like raspberry apple cider vinegar. Caleb, this is a PG channel. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll stick with one of these too. <laughs> that is not for me. Coming Ooh, in with some serious so pie. Good. This is some serious pie. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my okay. gosh. That is All right. coated in <laughs> Okay. Ah, right. It's gonna be so good. Excitement level this is, pretty high. This is gonna be a problem. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh we that look, looks I mean, look good. Look at this crust. Like, Ooh. Okay. Look at them. I tears. mean, <laughs> the potato, the chive, mm -hmm. the pecorino romano. Looks like it's so with. good. It's so good. Hold on, I got it. Oh, that crunch. Oh. It looks good. Grab you one. It's so airy and crisp. Let's All see right. that one. This is a sweet fennel sausage with peppers on it, and I love it already. <laughs> Some good cheese stretch. That sauce is killer. It's Ruben's beer, unrelated to the sandwich conversation that's <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> you 
You know, it's got a little bit of sour at the end that I wasn't expecting. But it's a farm ale, so that makes sense. Mm. I'm like... Yeah, I think really good. I think a solid 7 out of 10. <laughs> the blueberry and vanilla sour. My first sour of the day. <clears throat> God, it smells good. It smells like vanilla. You know what? I love a sour, but it's always very tart. The vanilla cuts into the tartness yeah, a lot. So it makes it like a much more palatable sour beer. That's delicious. That's, that's a game-changing sour. Take a sip of that. Family Brewing, our fourth brewery of today. Success? Yes. Success. Uh, I got an IPA that I'm pretty excited about. It has a little bit of a hazy color. Yeah, it looks like a it creamy does. IPA. It does seem like a creamy, creamy yeah. IPA, so we'll see how it is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty bleeping good for the YouTube. That is excellent. That is nice. <laughs> Fourth brewery. Is it fourth? No. Fifth. That's why I said fifth brewery <laughs> here in Ballard. I will say it's important to be able to read here. Yeah, uh, reading comprehension is actually uh, like very important here at the Stew Brewery. And if you can't read the four signs between you and the sidewalk, <laughs> then they are going to be pissed. Especially if about... you go the wrong yeah. way. <laughs> I will say they do make good beer. Bad signs. Yeah. The beer is wonderful. <laughs> okay, so we, we just gotta, went we to- We need to talk about it. I know, we need to talk about this. We just went to Ladybug Bikini Espresso, which is a drive-through coffee shop where the baristas wear bikinis. Now, I've Bikini heard- Bikini is not- <laughs> That's a generous term. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. All right, listen. I've heard about these places before. I've never been to one. I said, hey, let's try it. Michelle's driving us. Thank you, Michelle. Thank Since you. me and Charlie have been drinking a little bit. By bikinis, I mean, I saw her full nipples. She had a mesh top on. Two top, top, top. Two nipple piercings. Yep. Uh, and basically, you saw all but the line of her JJ. I saw her soul. So, I will say this coffee looks fantastic. It does, yeah. Um, we didn't film there to be very respectful because obviously that's not what you're supposed to do there. It was a unique experience. I'm proud I got it. But we also got to know her. Instantly. Better than yeah, better than anyone I've ever met for two minutes in my life before. I know her better than that. And I'm gonna try this caramel macchiato. Let's try. Caramel macchiato. <laughs> well, it's mostly for the show. I, think. I will be honest. It's very good. Is it worth ten dollars? No, but I've never also ordered a coffee from Starbucks and got nipples with it. So yeah, it's, it's not bad. Like so, boobs and coffee. It's okay. I get the business model. Is what I'm saying. It's we got a life experience. Yay, Yay. everybody! Woo. Good job, everyone. Woo she was so nice. She was, was very, very friendly. Nice. And uh, I forgot what her face looked like, but she was super nice and I appreciate that. We tried amazing ice cream, savory waffle sandwiches, some serious pizza pie, and more craft beers than I can count. So what did we learn? Well, we need more time in Ballard. This trendy neighborhood is definitely worth your time. We hope you enjoyed our food and drink adventures. Please hit that like and subscribe button so we can continue to bring you the best food and drinks from our travels. See you next time on Mikaela Goes West.